Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How do you say Asus? Is it Asus? 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 No matter, I know how to say this. This is a triple E PC or an E PC. E PC. But I say the triple E because it's E E E PC. Super lightweight, solid state drive. Uh, and uh, for extra storage, they have an SD card slot. This is one of the newer models that comes pre-built with Windows XP on the, the well, the solid state drive, the, the primary one. And uh, this was sent to me courtesy of Asus and specifically thanks to Asus engineer in uh, the chat room at live.perillo.com who has submitted top five lists and uh, pretty much made the connection between me saying, well, I'd never even seen uh, an EPC up close and, and then, you know, making it happen. And that's how this has arrived on my desk. So it's thanks to Asus Engineer. I really appreciate, uh, you know, having this now. I mean, not just the box, but specifically uh, what's inside it. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and give her an unboxing. First thing we got to do is cut the security tape. Contents if seal is broken, check, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is, this is like the exciting part. I've had it sitting here for the past like five hours and I know everybody's been going nuts, you know, like, ah, open it, open it, open it. Is this going to be a magical experience? Let's find out. Wow. Boy, it's getting glowing reviews already. Look at that. Whoa. 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 Wow. I, do, do you guys want to see it? Do you guys want to see it? All right. Well, first we gotta we've gotta unbox the the, the, the box part of the, uh, the the whole experience. Give me a second. Uh, there is the quick setup guide, warranty card, mouse comes with the mouse, uh, the restore CD or DVD DVD, uh, user's guide. Uh, looks like the serial number for Microsoft Works, which it comes with, which is nice for average users. All they need is what Microsoft Works has. Uh, looks like the battery notice. Didn't realize there needed to be a notice for batteries, but apparently so. And... Well, this is strange. Th that's it. Like... That's all it came with. Oh, someone even opened and, and took out the SDHC 4 gig card that it came with. Hey, Sus! I, I don't know what to tell you guys. This is, this is like a non event. I. Well, I, I guess it was yeah. kind of fun to open the mouse part of the box. I'm kidding. Uh, I I actually opened it before I even put the box on the table. <laughs> I got the E P C running right here in my hot little hands, and let me tell you, my my hands are. I mean my. These hands are small, this I know, uh, but it's really not that big of a computer. Weighs less than one kilogram, and I'm not sure how that translates into poundage, but let me tell you, super lightweight. Uh, very, 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 very small. And you gotta know, um, I never really found myself attracted to this size of a laptop, a notebook computer, because I've always craved power. But there are times when you just don't need that much power. And I find that 
having an extra notebook lying around in front of a television is very handy because if you want to look something up on the internet, maybe do some research, fact checking, check your email, um, having the laptop right there is good. And of course, the smaller it is, the better. Uh, this EEPC has got three USB ports and has, you know, uh, audio jacks, you know, for your microphone or uh, headphones. And it's also got a uh, video out. And even with battery, it is extremely lightweight. It's got a uh, wireless card built in. This one also has the webcam. And if you go over to my YouTube account, it should actually be live. Uh, let's give this a shot. Let's go over to youtube.com forward slash locker gnome. And uh, uh, it is live. Look at that. I'm recording a test video for the ASUS EPC unboxing. That really wasn't an unboxing. So. Yeah, so you can hear me clicking on the, the little mouse. Uh, the uh, button for the mouse, there's only one button, but uh, you could, you know, obviously if you click on the right side, then that's your, your right mouse button, and the left side is, is the left one. Uh, that's kind of slick. It's also got the software that allows me to uh, scroll with the touchpad. And you know, I used to be one of the uh, the nub kind of people. Like I like that nub in the middle, but that you know wears on you over time. I've become much more uh, happy in using touchpad uh, interfaces in terms of moving a cursor or gliding a cursor across the screen. You don't have to touch it that hard, and it's actually less strenuous uh, on your uh, fingers and, and, and arm and every muscle that you know is needed to move this stuff around. Um, one of the first things that stood out for me in terms of hardware design is the keyboard is so small. I mean, I mean the whole thing is small, but the keys are so tiny. Like, if you have the radius of a dime, you know how you know small that is. Like, even the largest key would barely fit the diameter of uh, of a coin. Uh, very, very, very tiny. Like I, I like. Okay, sugar cube size. If if you can imagine a sugar cube and the, and the size of a sugar cube, and some are some buttons are even smaller than that. Um, it's got uh, the software control, of course, the function key is as most notebook computers have. Uh, that is, it's going to take a little bit of of getting used to, uh, since I'm used to a more full size keyboard, even with my notebook computers. Um, so I've got to keep my fingers like really, really tight. So if you've got big fingers, you're probably going to have a somewhat of a challenge in using the keyboard that's built into uh, the PC if you're going to use it for an extended period of time. But if it's just kind of like light surfing, browsing the web, you're really not going to be keying in all that much. And I really do think that's where it shines. If I, uh, if I remember this one, Asus Engineer says is retailing for right around $400, $399. And it's got you know Windows XP on it. Uh, I had installed all the updates uh, that you know were necessary uh, because it ships with the stock you know Windows XP Service Pack two. Um, and in that process, actually had to uninstall software that was already on the system because there wasn't enough space. Uh, that's one thing that ASUS might want to address. Uh, it was nice, I think, for uh, you know the average user who wants software that will allow them to do some basic word processing and you know spreadsheets and etc uh, to have something like Microsoft works but I that was the first casualty is I killed that and then I had to start removing uh, some other apps that came pre-installed uh, but of all the apps that came pre-installed I would consider none of them junkware or bloatware uh, the other apps that were installed were things uh, like the Windows Live gallery stuff Windows Photo Gallery, Live Mail, um, the Windows Live Writer, uh, Windows Live Messenger. Um, th those were, I don't, I, that's, that's Microsoft software, so it fits seamlessly within the Windows experience uh, and is, is really easy to remove if you, if you don't want it, but certainly no, no junk uh, is apparent on this particular computer, again, as far as I can see. Uh, runs fast, battery life seems to be doing okay. Speed is ample, 
uh, you know, just for basic needs, it's not going to be a powerhouse. And that's the thing, you know, would I or could I even compare it to my MacBook Pro over here? No, I can't. But come on, dude. I mean, it's like literally apples and oranges. This is something that is much easier for me to carry around to, you know, leave by the television, you know, it, fully charged that when I want to get online and just visit a website that they're talking about or do some research or you know check my web mail or whatever I wanted to do that is where I think this is going to shine um, the price point is, is pretty I'd say it's pretty fair uh, you know for everything that you're getting a full-on Windows PC so you can use all the software well at least the software that you know is not going to be very very processor or necessarily RAM intensive because uh, the thing to note on here is it's got about a half a gig of RAM uh, installed I don't know if it's really gonna be friendly to upgrades but it's not really a computer that you would buy well, you really don't buy a lot of notebook computers knowing that you're going to upgrade them at any point um, but for an all-in-one package the price uh, the the fact that it doesn't come with junk on it at least what I would consider junk uh, the fact that it's got uh, extendability options uh, you know through USB or through your your video out um, it's it doesn't seem overloaded can't really be overloaded you don't have a lot of space uh, and it, that it's extremely lightweight I would think nothing of having this sitting by the door like in oh I need to take something I need something to take notes with and I don't have a notebook or I want to record something or because that's a nice thing it's got the little webcam and microphone built into it uh, this is a, a great portable PC for the price uh, now as I said Asus sent this to me so I've got to be completely transparent about that and specifically someone in the chat room it's one of the great things about you know networking with you guys with you know the video and the chat room and everything is you're all working across the industry whether you're inside the same industry as me or, or somewhere else uh, Asus engineer his real name's Jimmy made this for me and for that I am extremely grateful uh, I think uh, I, I'd say this anyway. I'd never seen one before, but it's like one of those things. Like, yeah, that's that's cool. I like having that around. I say the same thing about uh, the wedding gift that we received from Tablet Kiosk. This was the uh, Ultra Mobile PC that Ponzi and I read our wedding vows from. Uh, <laughs> you've probably seen those photos and video of us uh, floating around. In fact, I think someone made a blabberize of me uh, reading the vows. Hers or mine, one of ours was actually stolen. We had two of them and now only one of them survived. Uh, this, they, they, they seem to weigh, I'd say about the same and very, very, uh, I'd say thin. I mean, if I had a measuring less than an inch, I mean, minus the battery width, um, but I'd say extremely portable and powerful enough to do your basic things. I'm happy with it. I, I think Ponzi would have been happier with a different color, but you know, black goes very well with everything else I got going on here. Uh, this one is more of a cream color, but the one thing that bugs me about this is I'd only use this if I was doing some kind of scratching or note taking. Whereas if I really wanted to key things in and do more, at least this has got the webcam built in. That's I think more than anything, that's that's what impresses me is the fact that they've gone the extra mile and included some of those things that I think are absolutely crucial, especially in notebook PCs, putting that camera in there. This makes it potentially a live streaming device. I would have killed for this when I was in Germany instead of lugging around uh, a heavier laptop. Uh, very, 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 very portable. So yeah, the webcam, as you see on uh, on YouTube, is is really decent quality. I mean, you can only get so much out of something so small. Uh, but I think Asus has, has done a really good job. Glad to see Windows XP on there. Uh, Ponzi has tried Linux before, and just it's not there yet for her. You may be in the same boat, in which case this one might be uh, for you. Well, this one might be mine. At least I think Asus is going to let me hold on to it for a little while longer. Uh, if you have been playing with one for a while, I'd be interested in knowing uh, you know, what your thoughts have been, uh, which model you have, uh, or if you want uh, to get one for yourself, why? What is it about the Asus EPC that attracts you to it? Uh, the size, the price, uh, bragging rights, you know, what is it? I just, I'm, I'm curious to know. I mean, I, I suppose part of it is like saying, hey, hey, look, 
And it's the bragging rights. I've, I've got this and you don't. Ha ha ha. My laptop's smaller. Or my notebook. They don't really call them laptops anymore. And certainly you could you could hold this in your the palm of your hand and, and without much strain. Uh, I didn't even uh, mention that the uh, little speakers uh, flank the screen. Good place to put the speakers too. Really good place to put the speakers. I would say. Because you're usually looking at the screen. And well, that, the, the grills of course span. But the speakers are, you know, obviously right up there. They don't. The speakers don't span, but you're looking at the screen. Your face is, you know, right there. The sound should come directly from the screen because that's where everything else is happening. Um, yeah, uh, color me impressed or color me. What, what is the exact? What is it? Midnight black, galaxy black. Color me galaxy black. My email address is chris at perillo dot com, uh, and uh, you know, feel free to send me your thoughts if you're. Uh, I know people have been asking what I think about this. I didn't have an opinion until now in the short time. You know, despite a few of the snags, I'd still give it a thumbs up because it's the entire package that makes it complete. And good on you, Asus, for not throwing crap on here. Seriously, you are to be commended for that. Um, I wish more OEMs uh, were, were like that, really, giving a good user experience right out of the box. Uh, you're free, anybody uh, out there, to uh, stop by the chat room where people have been asking me what I think about this, that, or the other thing. I don't have an opinion because I haven't looked at everything. can only form a real opinion after I've actually experienced it. Before then, it's just kind of like guesswork or theories. Um, everybody in the chat room is typically talking tech. Every time I turn there to look, uh, someone's always talking about something related to hardware, software, internet, asking questions, answering questions. That's just a dynamic group of people, really, uh, and I'm, I'm very happy to kind of be that pivot point around which people are um, gathering, at least one of them uh, out there on the interwebs making connections for people. Can't always pay attention to the chat room. I may be busy playing with a PC, uh, or uh, you know, I may be doing something else uh, for the community in, in general. Uh, so you, you never really know what's going to happen, uh, that being said. So you're welcome to swing by anytime, day or night. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.